Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a mm, high-end lipsticks regrets. Yes. Here are some my regrets and disappointment. It can be because of the color or the packaging. There were basically some details that I feel, you know, if you're high-end, you charge people more. Yeah, unfortunately, people's expectations are higher, so you will be judged more. I start with these three first. Dior's and this from Becca and this is from Chanel. My challenge with the three of them is similar, is the color. Packaging, I have no problem. I absolutely love Dior's packaging. It's a simple um and i do like this type of packaging it's just personal preference and chanel one well, obviously always nice a black and the gold classic mm, let me talk about the dior first this color if you look from the thing oh okay sorry i need to share with you guys that personal preference i do like lipstick colors are more chocolatey mocha coffee toffee that type of colors because those colors for yellow tone skin needs to be a little bit more careful because they can make you like you eat if you know what i mean so this three colors <laughs> Let's talk about the Dior first. This one, I have two challenges. One is the color. Let me quickly show you. When you do the swatches on hand, and when you see the pictures online, it looks pretty. It looks like nude, coral, chocolatey color. And I like the finish. It is not completely like a water reflection. It is like cream, but lovely reflection. But when you put this color on your lip, because it's not completely pigment, you still can see some of your own lip color. Considering my own lip color is fairly light. But when you put this on top, I think it's, it's the, the color itself it's still lacking a little bit of redness in there. Therefore, just make my lip look sick. I think the best way to describe it. it when I use this lip gloss, my, my, my whole person, you just look sick. You just ate something that you shouldn't. That's what it look like. The second challenge I have with this one is the applicator. Have a look at this applicator. It just looks so ugly and when you apply it it is not that pleasant yeah yeah I think that word the next one is Becca this one the only challenge I have is the color packaging beautiful look at this look at the design and then they have a Becca logo inside here and is magnetic Beautiful when you open and close it. Those experiments great as a high end, perfect. When you do the swatches, I thought this would be very nice. It is very very creamy. Although it's a like um, toffee, chocolatey coffee color, but it has warmer tones, like having orange in there. It looks very nice when you do the swatches. But when I apply it, I don't know why it just turns out too chocolate. It, it shows too much brown in there rather than combined with more redness. Because when it's too brown, then we'll make it too chocolatey. It just makes you like you eat that's what it is so the formulation the finish everything else perfect I think I will um, compare with another high-end one which is Estee Lauder lipstick this one is 902 this is also in a chocolate zone 
but it's way much better. So this is from Estee Lauder and this is from Becca. So quite, I think you, it, it is a different finish. This one is more creamier finish. It's, the, it's more shine finish for that. But it, just looking at the color itself, both are within the brown chocolatey color zone. But if you're looking at the details of Estee Lauder, it has more redness in there. Therefore, the reflection, when you actually put on the lip, the Estee Lauder one is way much nicer. <laughs> Come to Chanel. Yeah. To be honest, I was shocked with this color as soon as I opened it. When I look at this, I was just like, why does it look so gray? And this color is just weird. And when I do these swatches, I was just like, can I see anything? Yes, I can see something, but I can't see too much. Can you guys see or not? Let me just do it like this. Okay. Now you can see a little bit, right? The finish, beautiful. It's a lovely glossy finish, shine. Originally, I wanted to buy this color more suitable for um, summertime because summertime traditionally you would think more berry, light pink, that type of glossy finish. But I still like nude, chocolatey that feel. Um, but you don't want to get it too thick, which would be more suitable for winter and autumn time. So what I see this one, I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. It's kind of evened out your 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 lip color but they give a nice finished chocolatey glossy color on your lip but it's not too much yes when you say it's not too much this is nothing you know when you look at the swatches you still feel there are orange type of brown undertone in there but when you actually apply it on the lip it pretty much just leaves the brown to be seen on your lip and this type of brown merge on your own lip color, it just looks very, very weird. It it doesn't look it doesn't look healthy. Let's put it that way. Um, compare this one to my to compare this one to another lip gloss that I loved and appeared in one of my previous videos is from Sephora. If you look at the thing, it's very much. Um, nude color and it's glossy as well if i put this two next to each other i think you will know what i mean the sephora one is also light okay this is a sephora and this is the chanel considering chanel i have put probably about 10 15 times to get the color to this and this I only did four or five times. I only took out the ones and did the swatches. Can you guys see the difference? And this was the type of color that I thought Chanel's lipstick looked like. Then you know what I mean. This three. If you were like me, like prefer nude, glossy, but like more chocolatey coffee type of uh, lip colors yeah don't go this three no and then are two YSL I never owned a single YSL lip product I don't know why I never owned or never tried YSL and then I decided to buy and try some of them in China. So I bought this too. Again, was preparing for new the summer glossing time, right? And this like see-through pink bottle, this one is the uh, 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 stain glow lip, water stain glow lipstick and color 
207 and in the black tin this one is the cream lipstick and um, color 433 let me put the two of them next to each other when you do the swatches oh my god they are beautiful okay that's easier on the top is the cream lipstick and at the bottom is the water stain lipstick can you see the color beautiful nude orange coral color and the cream one is less uh, is less glossy reflection compared to the water one for obvious reasons because the formulation difference as well when you do the swatches it's beautiful but when you put this on the lip hmm this color become too light the pigmentation for this is too light I have to do especially the cream one slightly better than the water stain for the water stain one if I need the color to kind of seen on my to show on my lip considering my original lip uh, my original lip color is not dark at all I have to do about five layers to actually get the color to be shown on my lip and the challenge with the water stain lipstick is when you apply it you feel it's very watery but once you finish for about five ten seconds it start grip on your lip you you the, when you wear throughout the day your lip just feel tighter and tighter and then you really can feel there is something on your lip it's not that pleasant experience of wearing this one so um for YSL this color what 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 it is let me repeat again 207 oh hell no oh no for the cream one is slightly better than this it, because it's a creamy finish therefore it doesn't like it, it doesn't hold on on your lip that tight but it does get a little bit stickier when you wear it throughout the day and again I thought the pigmentation of the cream one would be higher than the water stain one yes but only by about one percent you still need to layer after layer after layer to actually see this color on your lip if you only just put the one layer or two this orange color is just completely start disappearing on your lip it will make your lip just look red it's like your own lip color then your own lip color start getting darker but you don't see this color appear on your lip and the the, the color can turn out a little bit weird that's the word. YSL. First the two are not a success. So uh, yeah. Next one is Burberry. Uh, first of all, Burberry. You are not sitting at high end. You are sitting at luxury because of the brand, right? And the whole packaging, you feel compared to as the loader deal is fairly light I know people may like it because you know easy to travel put in the handbag you don't feel that much but when you get a little bit light yeah you, you feel a little bit plasticky and another one with this is although it is magnetic but they only have one side of this package with magnets in there therefore there is no kind of signage or somewhere on the cap tells you which one face to the front or which one face to the Magnus side. The Magnus is on the front with the logo here. So if you just finish applying, put this back, then you feel, oh my God, it's, it's broken. It doesn't, it doesn't close. And then you, you feel like, oh, Oh, okay, I need to turn it on. Oh, oh, okay. Now I found the front. The whole experience is just not 
yeah, it, it, it's just not nice. It just shouldn't be like this. Why can't you just put Magnus all round? Like as the Lauder, you know, whichever you turn the cap. Beautiful. The one I showed you guys earlier, Becca. Whichever side that you, you twist, you put back. Beautiful. The color is not too bad. The color and formulation is not too bad. It's like a um, rosy pink berry color and it has a shine finish itself. But this one depends on your lip condition. It can sit into your lip lines and get a little bit uneven and patchy, especially sink into the inside of your lip. For a, if it's a drugstore price, I'm okay with it. You're a Burberry. You carry the name. That's not good enough. The last one is from By Terry. I think I did a, uh, this was appeared in my video Sephora haul. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link that video over here. In that video, if you guys watch that video, you probably know the reason why I put this in today's video. And this color in particular is number four, Rose. The color, the applicator is not bad, especially the, I like the shape of this lipstick. It's like a water drop, therefore very easy to draw your uh, lip. Oh my God, I, I get that. I get this smell already. So it is very easy to draw your lip shape. The color, it is it is too rosy for my liking, but it's still nothing wrong with it. The formulation is nice. It is very cream and silky to apply, and it is matte finish, but very, very comfortable to wear it on your lip. The only challenge I have with this is the smell and the taste. Yes, when it is a lipstick, you cannot avoid not to taste the lipstick at all because it's on your lip. So when you talk or when you sip water, it will go in. The smell, sometimes you can bear with it because it's faint out, you know, after you apply it. But the taste, oh my God, it tastes like you ate soap. It's very, very soapy taste and it stays with you for a whole day. You know, I finished that video, then I wear this lipstick for additional two, three hours. Eventually, I really, really can't bear with it anymore because every time I move my lip, the, the, the taste that goes into my mouth. You just feel, you just, all you want to do is, you just feel too soapy. You feel like the soap bubbles went into your mouth and it's a so strong taste. And it lasts long. What? Oh, by Terry. Just get rid of the taste. You'll be perfect. Right guys, now is the end of this video. My advice would be if you guys want to want to buy or invest any high-end or luxury lip product, the best way is to still go to the shop, do the swatches and the most important is to ask the salesperson to try the lipstick or lip gloss on your own lip because the color can still look different from the swatches on your hand and when you apply it on your own lip. So you've got to bear in mind what's your own lip color and to make a judgment. You know, they're not cheap. If you want to invest it, mm, you need to do a little bit of work on that. Not like me, you know, just scroll down the website and all oh, this look nice and click on that yeah that's what the regrets you may get so thank you guys for watching hope you do like this video and give a thumb up if you do most importantly to subscribe my channel i will see you on my next one